Well, hello there. Master Hellish here. And welcome to our Tuesday night Transport Fever 2 Let's Play. Hello everybody, how is everybody? <laughs> how, how are you diddly doing dudes, <laughs> as the chat says. Hello everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. God, we've, we've had some streams, haven't we? Last week we had four live streams and there's a lot of good news off the back of that. So I'll go into detail when we um, get into Hellish News. Uh, I, I'm not quite sure when Hellish News is due to come around next. But um, we launched our ARC server. We had a fantastic week of playing ARC. It was great fun. Um, and we're still playing bits of ARC here and there. I mean, I played some last night. Um, myself, Brandon, I think Egg was there. The days are blurring into one at the minute. It's, it's busy times. Um, and our, our Rocket was there as well. And it's great fun. Been doing, we're doing some good ARC. If you want to see some streams of ARC, let me know down in the comments on YouTube. Or come over to the Discord and pop it in the Ideas channel. Let me know that it's an idea that you're on board with. And then at the weekend we had our charity live stream. It was fantastic. It was good fun. Uh, we had five different games that we played. Did all sorts of things. Our champion, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen it yet, was Brandon. Wizard Brandon, congratulations. You have now received your prize. And also, our total went up uh, a little bit after the stream as well. Sometimes after the live stream we get a couple of donations for people who couldn't be there live. And um, we, our total is now up to £217, which is a nice little amount of money that we raised for British Ukrainian aid. But that was that week, uh, last week, and this is this week. And what have I got to tell you about this week? Well, we've only got one live stream this week. Egg wasn't there last night. Sorry, Egg. Like I said, the, the gaming sessions sometimes blur into one. But yeah, um, I'm not uh, I'm not able to stream on Thursday, but we're doing one today. And um, what I should be able to do is provide you with two Open TTD videos this week. Should be able to. So what I'll do is I'll put one out Thursday night, and then I'll put one out for the weekend for you. So that was, it was great, was it? Ah, oh, okay. There was a few people on the server coming in and out, going here and by. It's great fun. But yeah, um, overall everything's going good, isn't it? I'm starting to bounce back and catch up, catching up on things now, because of course a few weeks ago I had COVID, and then of course I've got to catch up with things. So this week, apart from the stream, we should be all right on the videos, and I think next week we'll be all right on the videos too. There's going to be some disruptions to the schedule. It's summer. Um, the 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 little one's going to be off school soon in a couple of weeks' time, a week or so's time next year she'll be going up into year one bless her um, and yeah of course we're gonna have some family time do some visits and all that sort of thing but uh, that's a little bit of an update for you all let's crack on with some transport fever shall we so let's switch over to the transport fever screen we see we've got this uh, news for the update that we were so excited about and then it was just really well, there was, a, there was a few good features which we've used, actually. And we're going to continue Season 1, Episode 19. So this is Livestream 20 now. Livestream 20. I am enjoying ARC. Uh, I didn't think I was going to enjoy, enjoy ARC that much. I, d I do like... I do enjoy survival games. Um, like, you know, any... Uh, yeah. The, Survival games like Daisy and even even the survival aspect of Minecraft, I do enjoy. You miss the good old days? The good old days of what? I, I'm not quite sure what you're referring to above the line. Um, and check them out. Who doesn't miss the good old days compared to now? You know what? There's a lot of things that are now which is good, you know? Speaking of now, now is roughly the time that um, I'm, I may hit 15,000 subscribers. Which is something that when I started YouTube, I never thought would happen. Let's have a look at the analytics quickly. Oh yes, 
we're not too far off. You know, I, let's go quick. Uh, hang, on, like, hang on, where's transport fever? Pause transport fever. We're going on a little tangent. It's tangent time. Well, here we go. It's tangent time. So yes, here we go. This is the the current live counter of the YouTube channel. <laughs> we've we've only just started. We, you, I don't even know if you saw any of Transport Fever um, loaded in there, but um, we're close. We're close to 15k, which is interesting. Yeah, it's already tangent time. Let's see how many tangents we can get in tonight's live stream, shall we? Um, you missed the good old days of being in, in education. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that, that, there's a whole different thing. So, yeah. I mean, I don't know if we, how we could mark getting 15,000 subscribers. I mean, when I hit 10,000, I did the limited edition poster. So, maybe we should mark 15? Or should we just not and leave it and see if we hit 20? Uh, let me know, either in the chat or on the Ideas channel in the Discord. I'd be, be interested to see what you guys think about that. I'm not going to sit here and watch this. Oh, oh, oh no! We just gained one and you missed it. We just gained one live and we missed it. Ah, oh, I think, never mind. I don't know how many a day I'm getting at the moment. Like what is the increase like per day? It doesn't actually give it on this screen. It just says you had, oh, we just lost one. No, come back, please. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it looks like we, we gain a few a day. Yeah. You still have to hang your poster up, Egg? Oh, you'll have to send me a post uh, a picture when you, when you do uh, hang that poster up. <gasps> it happened again! It happened again! Oh, it, it double happened. It went up to 17. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> That's enough of that. Let's jump into Transport Fever and get rocking and rolling. So, last time we just got a brand new train up and going on this new line. Uh, Fox Train, it was named after, it was named after our viewer plus subscribers. If we just have a quick look at the vehicle statistics for trains. Where's trains? Trams, trains, here we go. How many have we got? So this is 20. We should have 20 viewer plus subscribers named on here. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Yes. So we only need one more this live stream. So we'll do that at some point. Uh, above the line says, what about Mark in 25k, then 50? Oh, you know what? I, I don't think our... 20, it's taken us 10 years to get to where we are today. Uh, it's going to take too long to get to 25. I'm I'm not a mainstream content creator. I'm not. Anywho, um, so our train from last time. I don't think we... Did we have a look inside this train? Let's have a quick look inside. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. So this driver almost has screams. It looks like they could be screens. He, he also is missing the back of his head. I think. Uh, but this is a cool view, isn't it? Yeah. Through past the city. Of course, noise reduction from having it in cut into the landscape. Um, so today, that was last time. That's what we did last time. We're going to keep an eye on that to see how much money it is or isn't making. At the moment, we're at minus 5.5 million. So, fingers crossed, that's going to start making some money. Because, well, it needs to. <laughs> we put a lot of money into this line. We spent a lot of money to build the line. The trains are very expensive. And to be honest, we, we just really need to. So, today is called Bells and Whistles. Because I'm kind of thinking this might actually be our last Transport Fever 2 Series 1 livestream. Because we've kind of done everything I originally set out to. We've got some cities connected up with trains. 
which are receiving the goods that they need to grow the cities. We've done some interesting loopy lines. We've had a play with airports. We've had a play with ships. We've got trams and roads. And we haven't got trams in that town. But we have got some trams about. And we've got into the modern day electrical age of, of the trains. I mean, it's not here now. I don't know where it's gone. Where has it gone? I've, oh, no, it is in there. It is there. I didn't see it. A white train under the white roof there. I didn't see it. So, I thought what we would do today is just go around and do improvements and little upgrades and just round things off. Interior camera will be epic. Driver or passenger? Well, you can kind of do that anyway. You can kind of do that anyway. You can do the driver like I did there. Or you can just come back here into the passenger carriage. Get, get yourself in one of the seats. There you go. I mean, it doesn't work because all the all the the graphics clip out and stuff, and then it moves you over here for some reason. I suppose if you're quite a tall person, then there you go. Yeah, that's what it that's what it sort of looks like. Oh my goodness! I meant to escape out of that. There we go. So hope. Oh look, that train's no longer in the negatives of the money. That's really good. That is. So I guess what we could do is just go around, fix and improve, and shout out in chat if there's anything that you want me to have a good look at. So this is the sta station statistics, uh, and you can see here that we've got something over here that's overload of very poor. So we've got um, some steel. We've got a lot of steel. Here. Okay. Well, yeah. So we've got a train, and it's not enough to shift all the steel. It is already on a dual line, so presumably, if we can find a depot, which there doesn't appear to be one, I don't know why, but we can pop one in over here just to going to help the situation out. So let's do that now. Da, 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 right, we'll start with the train actually, uh, the track actually. So we'll come off the line and we'll keep it level on the gradient. And then we'll put a high speed depot. Uh, rotate it round. Stick it on the side there. I guess you can make bigger tram slash bus lines. I mean, we could do. We're, I'm, I'm pretty much up for anything in terms of improving, finishing off, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, what's this? What's this one? This is the height map texture tool, lower terrain, flatten, smooth. There we go. Just smooth the terrain out there a little bit. I don't so, see in certain places I don't mind if the terrain looks harsh like over here you know we've got a harsh cut into the into the into the ground for a railway line to go through but that that's fine can you make a dual carriageway or something uber efficient route for the trucks and buses I mean we should definitely look at some of the routes for the trucks and buses the kind of kind of is dual carriageways here they're not real dual carriageways. Uh, they're multi-lane roads with a partition in the middle. What was I doing? Oh yes, that train. So if we click the wagons, actually we can just clone the train that's already on that line, can't we? So if we click the station, and we click the well steel line, we can do manage vehicles, select nudger, and clone. There we go. We've got two of the same there. You can always make a motorway. I mean, we tried doing a little bit of that. Was it over here? And then did we end up getting rid of it? Where was it? Was it in Bradnich? Oh, here it is. So we did a bit of a dual carriageway and road work sort of thing around here. 
it was I mean this was a fun little project I mean it's not really practical I mean the cars are finding these junctions quite difficult but luckily we haven't got too many trucks around here maybe a really long train I mean we do already have a really long train like uh, wherever that train's gone that's one of the longest trains I think you could do with these stations I'm not exactly sure how long the stations can go let's have a look so 320 is the maximum station length so let's rotate that round yeah so that's the maximum station length I don't know where the train's gone oh here it is it's on its way back oh look starting to turn a profit now uh, 1.9 million okay if we get a lot of passengers that would be quite good but this train is actually really quite long I mean it's certainly long for a passenger train um, although that's that is its natural length we haven't actually made it any longer I don't know how much of the station it fills up so I guess we'll see that at some point soon now in this town looking at it we've actually got quite a lot of people building up I guess these two stations need connecting better so I think this is a candidate for changing the buses the road vehicles here into tramway so let's use the tramway is that the uh, let's see tram track t tool so if we do a tram track there we go well that sorts that out and then I guess do you want to just turn the tram straight around or just loop it guess go around in a loop like that you can build your own island I like the sound of that but I don't think you can put anything on the island can you uh, let's see where's a tram stop is that a tram depot so now I need to figure out where I can put a tram depot in what I might do is put the tram depot just out of town over here and then just do the upgrade for no wait the tram upgrade just for that bit of road so that we can bring the trams in there we go so I, actually we can change is that a bus and tram stop it is so if we go and put them on the brom loop buy vehicles well which tram do we buy yeah, I mean, like I said, we could build our own island, but I don't know what you'd put on it, because you can't fund a town or an industry, can you? Can you? don't think you can do that in, in this. We can definitely look for some more efficient trucks and bus routes, Jack. That sounds like a good idea. We may need to build a motorway to do that. I don't think we need these super long trams. Um, let's see, that's electric that's got 25 capacity that's got 27 capacity that one's got a much higher loading speed though how much much money do they cost to run that costs about the same I don't know why you'd buy this one it, it's it oh it is slightly slower but it also carries less people we're gonna go with faster we're gonna go with faster and we're going to add it to the Brom loop. There we go. The island challenge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is new island challenge, isn't it? Is that what I called it? Okay. So we've got one tram so far. It even says Brom Loop on it. Can we get a nice view? There we go. Oh my goodness, what the bus has lost its side. Oh now 
The back of the bus is gone. Oh, wait, it's back again. Um, I think what we'll do, though, is we'll just add a couple more... We'll add a couple more um, trams and we'll get rid of the road vehicles. So we will sell the road vehicles and we'll clone the tram. Now, we've only got the same amount of trams as buses, but I think the trams hold more and they're almost certainly quicker. But I'm actually going to just put another one on there. I'm going to put three trams on. We'll get absolutely crazy because the amount of people waiting at this stop here for the Brom Loop, 33 people. Oh, and there's quite a lot of people waiting at the train station now as well. This, this could be a profitable line. Could be the most profitable line. I'm not going to make an island without needing to put something on it. So let's see where we've got some road traffic congestion and try and fix it. Look, look, here we go. Traffic congestion. Hmm. You just Googled it, but apparently you can't make the stations bigger after building it, but you can use a bigger train than the station. Um, that's old information. You can make stations bigger after building them. We've done it before, actually. We did it a few live streams ago. We upgraded the length of pretty much all the stations on this loop line. Uh, for, for laziness, I think I actually deleted some. But ever since the last update, uh, you can go in and you can see you've got these dots here on the end. You can just like add more platforms on the end. I mean, we can't here because the track's in the way. So if you remove the track, extend the platform, then you're all cool. So the information you've looked at is out of date. You can do that now in this game. Uh, looks like we've got quite a few people waiting at the platforms here as well. Let's have a look at the lines here. So if we look at the main loop clockwise and anti-clockwise, they've both got two trains on them. One of them is making really good money, one of them is making really bad money. Who'd have thought it? That's weird. Oh, ma bigger than the maximum build length. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a maximum build length, isn't there? I wonder if you could do it with these ones then. So these ones look like they haven't reached the maximum build length yet. I mean, that is a long station. One loop goes to the airport, one does not. That is very true. That is almost certainly the reason. Should we just, should we just leave one bit of platform all the way over here? Seems a bit ridiculous, we won't do that. Yes, the one that goes to the airport is doing, quite, um, doing really well. If we actually go over to the airport, we can probably see what the situation is. Okay, so we haven't got a ridiculous amount of passengers waiting there, that's okay. And the main loop line anti-clockwise seems to be okay there too. Alright, fair enough. Let's go back to that station list. We've got Chester... Is that Chester Road? Up here. Okay, so apparently we've got a bit of an... Yeah, look, there's loads of people waiting on this bridge. I mean, it's a cool bridge. It's a nice bridge. But we've got... We, we haven't got enough people on it. So, I guess we need more trams. So, if we go manage vehicles, select all of them... And then we do replace selected vehicles, and we upgrade them. And then I think we're going to have to double them. So we're going to have four trams going on that line. Don't know how much money that line is or isn't making. Okay, so that line's currently in profit, 80 grand. So things are looking good. So that should... Ah, hang on a minute. There's a, there's a clockwise and, and an anti-clockwise there, isn't there? And I just severely upgraded one, but not the other. Maybe I sh... No, actually, no, we'll leave it like that. Okay, let's have a look at the station list again. And the next one is King Street. Uh, King Street. It's just, just a busy station, is it? I mean, there are road vehicles there. I don't know how many road vehicles. There's four road vehicles. They're getting old, I think. That is a big... Oh, of course. This is the one that links up to the ferry as well. 
I forgot about that. What do we think, folks? Do we... Should we tram that one up? I'm not sure whether we should tram that one up or not. Can you upgrade buses? Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's let's do the upgrade on the vehicles. Manage vehicles, select all of them, replace selected vehicles, passenger. So currently the buses that we've got on here aren't even on the list to purchase anymore. Um, out of all of these, the bendy one's got a higher capacity but it is slightly slower in speed but you're not going to be able to go really fast inside the city so I'm pretty sure we want these ones because you can just shift loads of people it's going to cost 3 million we don't need that many if we're going to have the big bendy buses 4 is enough then that one just sell it there we go. Right, where's our bendy buses? I want to see my bendy bus. It says King Street on it. Oh, it does actually bend. Nice. I like that. That should help. Even though we've got rid of one bus, that should help with that town. Right. Where have we got passengers piling up? <laughs> Brandon says, whatever happened to bendy buses? I think they've still got some in some places. I do. Okay, so apparently Chester Road's doing good now. And uh, no, they're not protesters there. <laughs> At least I don't think so. Uh, in your city they do. Which city is that then? Which city do they have the buses? You should have said, I know a city where they do. Right, okay, so we have pretty much sorted out all the stations. We've got good or very good on the overload. Now, here's one for chat. And, and uh, this is an important one. I have deliberately not replaced some of the trains okay reason being I thought it would be nice to have some steam engines amongst everything we're doing however do we think we should upgrade all the trains and vehicles because slower trains um, means uh, and they're probably more costly to run maybe means that we're not getting as much profit and as much interest from passengers because they're slow um, compared to the newer ones so, lots of cities in the Netherlands apparently as well yeah I'm pretty sure there's some in London as well next time I go to London if I see a bendy bus I'll try and take a picture of it so chat what do we think uh, vote yes or no do we keep the steam trains just say yes or no in chat do we keep the steam trains and I will probably go with the majority on that okay Brandon failed <laughs> do we keep the steam trains I, I guess Brandon that would have been a yes from Brandon if Brandon could have managed English. Oh no. Elaine said yes but no. Oh my goodness. Elaine will have to probably elaborate. Couple of yeses. Okay, so we've got three yes to keep them and two no's. So the chat is so far very quite split.
Um, what's this? Uh, oh no, it's okay. Keep one of them, says Egg. Oh, like a mobile museum, it's just like in real life. Yeah, I like that. But where do we keep it? Should we should we build a special line just for the new steam train? If just for the last steam train? Hey. Yeah, every everybody is saying keep one. JB says wanted to play this for a long time, but the tutorial gl glitch is out. Oh, don't do the tutorial, just play. <laughs> yeah, scenic passenger route. Hmm. Okay. Where are we going to? We'll definitely do that. We'll have a steam tourist line. But where should we do it from and to? Hmm? Should we make it so it's useful as well? Like, shall we connect Bradnich and God Manchester together via a little steam service? Because, like, God Manchester's on the loop, Bradnich is not on the loop, but they're quite close to each other. We could maybe make it a little scenic? I mean the the lake you got lakes and mountains there, so maybe maybe if it came out of this side of no I don't know actually, you you could make it go round the lake, all the way around. Oh look at this look at this what I've just spotted, we've got trucks queuing up. We don't want that to happen. What we what we've got here the Brad Iron Loop. Okay. Uh. Let's manage the vehicles. How many vehicles? We've only got 15 vehicles. Well, if I get rid of five of them, we sell them. And then with the, the 10 that we've got left, we replace them for the latest cargo vehicle. So this one, rather than the little truck, we get more capacity out of it and it's faster. It's going to cost us six million, but we've got the money. Um, around the lake sounds amazing. Throw in a couple of dinosaur pens and you've got a perfect tourist attraction. I do like the idea of around the lake. Is there room to do it over here? And it's not that flat. It's actually quite bumpy. People we'll struggle to get past this. lake maybe slightly into the hills i mean you kind of are coming through the hills you'll have the hills on the left and the lake on the right so let, let's do that let's let's do it so we we're going to go from god manchester um so what we'll do is we'll use the existing station we'll add a second platform the only problem is it's going to have to be a modern platform, I think. Because I don't think you have the option to put old-fashioned platforms in. I think it just does it. Which is a bit of a shame. Never mind. I wish there was... It, is there a button to change stuff? No. Okay. So there's an underpass there. We'll put an underpass there. Is that it? Okay. Uh, but what we can do it. I mean, this is kind of the wrong way around. It's like part of it's old and part of it's new, but the 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 old. Oh, we're gonna have them on the old tracks. What is the speed limit of the older tracks? I think we should. Should we have the newer tracks or older tracks? I think we need the newer tracks, don't we? So that it's not too slow. And then we need to come like around here and into the lakes. That'd be cool. 
Let's have a look at the speeds. Do I get the speeds if I go in here? Track. It just says speed limit. 120. What's the maximum speed of our steam trains? Where is one of them? Details. Cargo type. Length. Weight. Top speed, 120. Uh, okay. So, actually, we do need the more modern track. Fair enough. I shall use the more modern track. Oh, this is going to be interesting. I've never done that before. I mean, we can do. That's that's not a problem. Um, seems okay to me. I mean, ideally... Oh, that's a point. We don't need to worry. Let's try and target for, like, 200 as a minimum on the on the bend on the speed of the bend just add some signals yeah okay let's let's pop well we've already got some signals here look let's get rid of these ones and put some brand new signals in so signals oh hang on i just need to adjust my position here so let's do signal going that way Signal going that way, and then for this line, are we going to need signals in both directions? We are, aren't we? So one, one there, and one there. Because I'm thinking single track line, right? Single track line, surely, yeah? Uh, this one wants to be a one-way signal, and that way wants to be a one-way signal. Look at the detailing on the line crossings there. They've got the whole little joints going on. That's quite cool. I thought it would be a lot more of a mess than that, but no. Actually, even even the sleepers look like they've kind of arranged themselves in an, a, an appropriate manner. Ugh. Okay. So, I guess we should come this side of this mine. We'll just get rid of that road, because we don't need it. And we'll put the track here. Um, I mean, what happens if I just try and connect those two pieces of track? We get a very sharp bend here. Although I, I kind of like that turn. It comes through the forest. Down by the side. I think that's fine. I mean, it's, it's pretty much 140 anyway, so... Got a level crossing there. That's fine, the max speed is 120. Thank you, Egg. I was trying to remember what the max speed was. So we've got a nice curve, a straight bit here, right past the edge of the lake. We're going to go uphill a little bit round there. Let's have get the topography out. Doosh! There we go. So where's the lowest point through here? It looks like... Like, the lowest point is kind of through there. This is going to cost a lot of money, but we've got 60... 60 million. We'll go through here and through there. And if I join the two together, yeah, lowest speed there is 130. And then I guess we join those two together. Like it looks good. And then we've got to somehow come into Bradnich. Oh, that's going to be difficult. Now, what do you think, folks? Should we try and come into the same station, or should we have a separate station? What do you think? Here you get go. Good evening. Yeah, hello. We're all doing good, thank you. We're all doing good. Uh. 
<sighs> Same station. Oh, you would say that egg. You would, wouldn't you? Same station. Have you seen how difficult that's going to be to do? Absolutely ridiculous. Ugh. Um, I don't even think we could put an extra... I don't even know what platforms are used on this station. Let's have a look. Okay, so used overflow, used overflow. So that we do have some overflow platforms. Having said that, if we only come into this overflow platform, we could have a double slip here and come straight out there, under here, and then I think it's possible. Right, here we go, folks. We're going to try and... We're going to get rid of just that. And then I'm going to try and connect it up. Oh, that seems to work. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. Can we get it to come out? Like that? I mean that's no that needs to be double a double switch slip there. Tourist station out of town. No, we just gone straight in there. Oh, why is Bitrich using that line? I didn't think that would happen. Uh, I have no idea what Bitrich and Tomato are doing. Let's have a look. Terminals. Terminal 4 isn't used for anything, apparently. Oh! Right. So we've got the main pick Brad line. Oh, we just swap lines. What lines they use? We'll just swap all the lines around. It's fine. Not dip or trouble. Double double. Right, okay, so what we're going to do is the Brad Air Shuttle will move to platform 4, terminal 4, and this, that particular line, the Brad Air Shuttle, will say if you're busy at Bradnich, borrow platform 3. Okay? And then we'll say the one that's in platform one so the main prick, pick brad line you use platform three what why are you complaining i'm confused Looks fine to me. Oh, what? What? There's no. There shouldn't be any problems. That looks fine. In, out, back, and forth. Okay. Let's let's check uh, the alt. Ah. The alternate line has to be on the same slip, I think. So if we go manage line... Yeah, it's saying... Uh, I, I don't know which one to say. So there we go. Platform 3. No warnings, yeah? And then we say, if we can't get to platform 3, go to platform 4. There we go. There we go. And then the well line, manage the line, 
We don't want you... Do we want you to use Platform 2? We do want you to use Platform 2. And if you can't use that, borrow Platform 1. And then we can just come straight in and use Platform 1. There we go. We've, we've nailed it. Now, because this is a single line with a single train running upon it... Should we have multiple trains and do passing places? Go on, folks. Let me know what you think. I think that's a terrible idea, but... I'm I'm all up for terrible ideas. Uh, I think we need to go past the edge of the lake over here, but we also need to be careful about the landscape. Yeah, because that bit's quite high around there. So what we'll do is we'll come in roughly here, past sort of there, and then we'll come relatively close to the water here. Look at that, we've got a 91 over there. That's no good. We'll sort that out in a minute. There we go. We'll just, uh, what we'll do is we'll just smooth this out by taking a little bit of out and put it back in again. There we go. That's nice and smooth there. Come back to the edge of the coast and then we've got to somehow hook it up. Bad idea, you better at least one train blocks them. You know what and you know what? I think we know enough about signals to to be able to do that. So we're coming out here, we've got to turn round and get onto this line before hitting that hill too hard. We're gonna go well maybe should we tunnel through the corner of the hill? We could try that. Like, how how tight can I turn this corner without it going below 120? No, that's 121, look. And it looks like we've maintained the height. Yeah, we've managed to maintain the height. So that's curved around actually really nicely. So I'll take that. And then we'll just do that. Oh my goodness, we get a little tunnel out of it. Definitely want a little tunnel. Let's have a look, see what we get. Oh, that is a lovely little tunnel. We come, So we come out of the city, we do a hard left through a tunnel. Ah, I don't like this bit. We do have a little bit of a cut in the, mount, in the valley side. Um, what we'll do is we'll bulldoze all that. Like that. And then we'll fix it. So we'll smooth off all this. If it'll let me smooth it. Yeah, it's just costing a bit. Come on, smooth. Wow. It really doesn't want to smooth down, does it? Okay, we'll have to leave that bit like that. Then what I was thinking with this road is that we actually do like a bridge. So country road, we'll do a media, uh, small country road. And we will do one that goes like this. And then in the middle, Ooh, that doesn't quite fit. Oh, let's. What sort of bridge can we have? Oh, I, um, I like that one better. But I think we need a smaller bridge. So let's try again. Let's do it from here to there, and then. Oh, that's sort of better. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. There we go. And then we'll just connect that up and that up. Nice. Out of a tunnel, through a little valley, under a bridge, and out into the countryside. So I, I, I think I think we're just going with one train for now. 
I guess we need to choose which train. We shouldn't need anything else. Is that done? It is done. It's just a single track line, isn't it? Oh, no, we need one signal here. Uh, we need a bi-directional uh, signal on the end for entering the stations. There we go. Uh, we need to set up the line. Any more thoughts from the chat on whether we're going to have multiple trains or just one train? Let's see here. Go go with the oldest possible steam train. Do you mean the oldest possible one I can purchase? Or the oldest possible one that we have? Can't go wrong with more than one, surely. I'm sure it could. I mean, come on. I mean, this is... Transport Fever 2. Things are going to go wrong, aren't they? No, they don't go wrong. They just get interesting. <laughs> of course. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm actually not wearing one of my own t-shirts tonight. Uh, we've got the... Uh, I'm a gamer dad. Like a normal dad, but much cooler t-shirt on. Can you even still purchase steam trains? I don't think so. Uh, I think we should have a dedicated depot though at God Manchester. Um, so let's do that. Eep. There we go. Dedicated depot. Buy vehicles, steam. There you are. You can't buy any steam trains anymore. So, because we can't buy any anymore, we have to steal one. And that means it could be anywhere on the network. And we've got to figure out how to move it to where we need to. So, let's have a look. Let's organise by vehicle. Oh my goodness. Okay, folks. Here we go. So, we have one of this sort of vehicle that's our oldest type that we've got at the moment then we've got a number of these ones like the flying scotsman and i think that's it the rest or are either diesel and electric i think my oh my 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 so the question is do we want the really old one or do we want one of the flying scotsman's one for each type of pres preservation Ooh, i don't know about that elaine we'd, we'd end up with two different trains one that was slow and one that was fast the really old one says message mean book hmm I don't think we should just necessarily go with the oldest. I think we should go with the steam train that we like the most. Or the one that we... Oh, everyone in our chat saying oldest. The coolest looking one, says Brandon. I think coolest looking one. In my opinion, right, th whilst this steam train here... Where is it? This one. Is quite a nice train. It is really rusted. It's, what is it, a two, three, four, or whatever it is. I don't know if you count the tender when you do it like that. It, it, yeah. I mean, this one isn't even carrying any passengers. That's true. Sam sandwich both. Oh, put one on one end, one on the other. Oh, I don't know if we could do that. I think you'd have to send it to the depot. And I'm not sure if you can. Yeah, I think you can send it to the depot. And the other train would be somebody like this one. So this is the Flying Scotsman. So even though it's showing wear and tear, still got some nice green colouring. Um, it looks, to me, this is a nice, smart, cool looking steam engine. So... 
I'm not 100% sure. Chat seems to be a bit split on the situation. That is actually a good picture there, isn't it? You got the you got the city in the in the background, you got the steam train coming across the front there. Clouds with the backlit on the background. That's nice that. It's nice. I like that. I can't decide. Let tell you what, shout out in chat more what you think. I'm going to get the line set up. So, new line. Oh, well, that's line statistics. New line. We we're, we're going to go from this station Bradnich all the way over to wow that is a strange line look at that wiggle 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 um what, what was that where's god manchester gone there's the airport there's brad bradnich is there wellington's there Oh, it's over over here, God Manchester. So there we go. There's the there's the Lake Line. Uh, I, it should be blue, really, shouldn't it? Although that's getting again going, going to get confused with the aircraft. Maybe dark blue. Ooh, that's a bit too close to the purple. I'll notch it up one. No, yeah, that's better. It's got a bit more blue. Bitrich, need, he needs a new lease of life on a new line. Oh, okay, so we're picking out individual trains now, are we? <laughs> um, I think that's it, actually. That That is the line done. But where is Bitrich? DGA says the Flying Scotsman. Uh, Marcus says the Scotsman. Brandon says the cool one. So we've got a couple of votes for both, a couple of votes for oldest, but I think just, just the majority there is saying the Scotsman. And we've even got one request for Bitrich. I don't even know where Bitrich is. Oh, Bitrich is actually over here, right near Bratnich. So what we should be able to do, Elaine says Scotsman too, is just change Bitrich's line to, oh, we haven't named it. So we got it's called line two, but it should be called the lake line. There we go, the lake line. Uh, line one, I can't remember what that was. It just needs to be renamed. Oh, that's the that's the long distance mega shuttle, M mega. It's the mega shuttle. Just mecking things up now. That's all I ever do. Right, so Bitrich, I think if we just change Bitrich's line, we might be alright. And it might just work. So let's put Bitrich on the late line. There we go. So Bitrich is not confused or anything like that. It is the scenic late line. I like the carriages we've got here as well. I'm pretty sure Bitrich is just going to pull into the station straight to platform one. Oh, that was easy. Is it going to? Is Bitrich just going to pull straight to platform one? There we go. Now, folks, would we like to view the line from the view of this from the uh, view of the steam engine? I, I think some of you would like that, so we will do that. I'm going to do that. Um, name lake for industry near it. I don't know what industries are near it. I know there's a few industries near it. But here we go. Let's have a look and see what it's like pulling out the station. So you come out the station and you turn off from the main line onto the lake line and come under a different section of the bridge. That's quite cool. Love the sound effect of it going under the bridge there. We get some crossings to go over the bypass. Or what do you call a... Uh, it's like a... a orbital? Orbit, the road orbital? Now here, actually, this is something I'm going to change. We've got the electric cantonary. We don't need that. So we'll get rid of it. But here's our tunnel. It's not a massive tunnel. But I felt like it would... Here we are, horn. 
I mean, it's a, it's a steam engine noise. And then af out through the tunnel, we've got a nice cool bridge to look at. I love the angle on this. You get to see right through the arches. That's nice. Yeah, electric steam train. We'll get rid of the electric bit. Got a lake out on the left. That's nice. Sounds like, yeah, we're slowing down for that corner. So maybe we'll improve that corner. Went round it at 102 kilometers an hour. I think that's the slowest point in the entire track. We have got a slight incline now. Because when we get up round, the, um, round Farm Lake... Hang on. There, no, well, it could be Grease Lake. But there is a farm right on the end of it, on the hill. So it's like agricultural. Here you see we're doing the straight bit. And we're just about to come up round towards the farm that we did. Hills around in the distance. I think this is a really good scenic line, actually. I'm so glad we did this. When we started the live stream tonight, I didn't really have a good idea of what I thought we were going to do. But between us, between me and the chat here, we've had some good suggestions. There we are. We're going past the farmhouse now. Still got some farms on the left there. You could Maybe even you could call it like Ranch Lake or something like that. Very good arch placement, wasn't it? Yes, the arch pla placement on that uh, on that um, on that bridge was really cool. You get you get to see even more of the lake coming around here, which is nice. It looks like there is a, some sort of coal mine. You can see the city in the far left, just there. Some of the skyscrapers. That's where we left. That was our um, not, uh, our port that we left from. It's a nice round ending for the episode. I mean, we're not done yet today, folks. We're not done yet. Um, we will do some more things today. But I think this project was nice uh, for the series. Name the lake from the viewer plus. We could do, maybe. I mean, we, we have been sticking to the theme of trains. We do need to name a train. We, I said I would do one every, every live stream, so we'll do the one in a minute. But this is like the harsh-ish corner that brings us round straight across the other lines here. So I don't know if we'll have to stop. No, doesn't look like we're going to have to stop there. So the... Uh, oh, and we've actually got one of the other trains in the other platform here from the loop line. On platform two. There we go. Lovely. You know what, folks? Oh, I think that's brilliant. Tour guide, on your right, dense jungle <laughs> meant for dinosaurs. No, no dinosaurs. Look at that for contrast as well. Fantastic, love it. Cars watching this nostalgic train go by. Don't think think we've got any trains nearby on the Lego. Oh no, there is there is a train sort of coming up in the distance on the Lego line. Must be cool though, like driving down this line and seeing the steam train cross in front. Cool. Okay, what do we need to do? I don't know. Um, pencils, hellish... As per Brandon's suggestion. What are you talking about? The train on the main loop really fits well. Yeah, that is that is a good loop train. I think what we'll probably do is upgrade the other trains to something similar. So let's have a look at that now. So we've got... Ah, now that's another thing. We took a train off a line there. And we need to replace it. So where was Bitrich coming from? Was it this one? So we've only got Party Piggy there. Um, so we've got Well Air Shuttle, Brad Air Shuttle. Um, they're the two air shuttles which we didn't do. Mainline, oh my goodness, which one's which? 
Oh, hang on. No, we will look at the lines list. And we can see if there's any trains missing off that. So we've got main pick. There's one main well. Oh, okay. So, actually, the train that we took was a secondary surplus train anyway. So what we're going to do, we're going to manage this vehicle. We're going to replace this vehicle. And we will do it with the commuter train. It's going to cost us 18 million. There we go. Commuter train done. We'll do it here as well. Be careful not to do the lake line. Uh, we're spending a lot of money on trains upgrading now, but I feel like at this point we definitely should. We've got two more trains to upgrade. So let's do that. And then the last one is train 18 on the well shuttle line. Uh, replace, add, and replace. Okay, so, oh, hang on a minute. We have got one steam train over here that we need to replace as well. Manage vehicles. Um, edit selected vehicle. We'll take the steam engine off the front. We'll give it... Um, the same D. What diesel are we using elsewhere? Oh, we're using a couple of different diesels. Okay, looks like most mostly this one. So there we go. Oh, we haven't got enough money. Oh, all the money's gone. Okay, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to borrow a load of money and see if we bankrupt the company with all these changes that we've made. There we go. So now if we check in on the main line, look, we've got all of these nice, modern, smooth trains zooming around. I'd travel on that line. It looks like a good line. We've got road vehicles that have got poor condition, but we don't really care about that at the minute. Oh yeah, we need to sort out that railway line, don't we? So we need to go tools and electrified. And we need to remove the electrification, but only from that section. I already built up to 10 million and... Yeah, well, I did take a loan out then. And it's also cost me money to get rid of these electric five railways there we go let's get rid of them get rid of the electrification we don't need that what 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 was that not quite sure what I upgraded or unupgraded there but it seems to be okay. There we go. We, we've uh, we're actually in the negatives again. Where's that train gone? Here it is. So does it look much better? Oh, that's much better without the uh, without the uh, electrified rail over the top there. Go, we're going past. Um, the lake, whatever it's called, the far farm ranch, lake ranch farm. Nice. I'm glad we did that. I mean, is anybody even riding on it? Oh, wow. There's 50 people on it. I didn't notice. It's 
people actually want to go all the way around there? I'm sure there's no mechanic in the game for, oh, that would be a nice ride out, let's do that. Um, but sure, why not? Um, money is not the best. I think it's we're struggling a little bit because these trains are generally more expensive to run. Um, but then again they're paying off nicely as well I think when they deliver so it's a little bit of a balance now how how is our uh, Fox Strand train doing oh look at that 13 and a half million 107 people on board fantastic that's doing well I just went to reach for a drink and I haven't got one my coaster's empty Tell you what, folks, we'll take a quick break and we'll come back to see how much money I have or haven't got once I've got a drink. And then um, we'll do some tidying up and see see how things look. We're at minus four million now. So we'll have to see how it all goes. Did I spend too much? I'll see you in a few minutes. Right, I'm oh. going to jump. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yes. First death. Wow. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Deaths don't count. And I set my respawn point so I can attempt oh. exactly the same jump again. Oh, the of the bed, doesn't it? You smart cookie. What, setting a respawn point? Yeah. That's what it is. Oh, I just saw the death on stream. Oh, and I'm down. Oh, open. God, there's a cave. I'm, I'm shooting. It's now. down. Oh. It's almost dead. It has 150 health. Oh no, I fell off the cliff. That's fine. Oh, that's, <gasps> that's not fine. I died! Can we go back to where we probably won't die? I just did jump off a cliff. I said, I, it'll, I be, did... I said it'll be full damage. I, I didn't did. jump off a cliff. I fell off a cliff. You just fell to a You got any prime meat? Oh. Uh, yeah, I fed it to him. Okay. What was that? I missed. <gasps> he hit me with one strike? Wow. That was surprising. I just went straight forward then. Ah, oh, Jack, you hit the tail. Oh. How the earth? No, oh, I did a triple turn. It went between you guys. <laughs> that, was, that was the biggest game of chicken I've ever played in my life. Oh, the good no. thing about this game is it works as a true <gasps> land game. Oh, screw it. Got a view. I, I crashed and Brandon survived. Yeah, because he crashed, I survived. Oh, you're not going to get out of that, are you? Oh, oh you did! Oh, my goodness. Uh -oh. Block him in. Woo. Oh, no. Oh, nearly. Got 20 points. Oh, I died. <laughs> that looked brilliant on streams. Oh, we've got some good clips, haven't we, folks? We've got some good clips at the minute. Nice to see clips from the charity event in there. As always, thank you very much to DJ Egg and the rest of the team that do those clips. It, uh, you are fantastic. You make this you make this easier for me. I can make more and better content. Thank you very much to my super viewers, all of you. And yes, I have recently died a couple of times, falling off a cliff in multiple games. But we won't go there too much. <laughs> Let's crack on, shall we? So, as you can see, we haven't got a lot of money. We've only got three million to play with here, folks. I feel that we've got a kind of a double-edged sword with these trains that we put on here. So, these trains are now making fast journeys. Uh, they're making fast and smooth journeys, but they're not full. There's only 29 people on board here. 
Makes me wonder whether there should be a service at all. Um, let's check the lines list and just see which ones are doing the best and which ones are doing the worst. Okay, wow. So this Lego shuttle service over here, I thought this one would do quite well. It's not. It's doing terrible. And that one used to do really well. Why? Why? What's going on? Why is the Lego shuttle service not doing well at all anymore? Uh, is this it? Is it because we have too many trains there now? The number of passengers will probably grow with the better surface. That's what I was thinking, Elaine. That's what I'm hoping. We've only got two million in the bank account, though. Um. Yeah. Also, we need to name a train after the viewer plus subscribers. So let's do that now. Let's have a look at all the trains that we've got. Here we go. We've got four trains that haven't been named yet. Uh, I'm going to press this button on my tablet here and that brings up the viewer plus screen and uh, the person that we're saying thank you to on that screen that's who we'll name as the viewer plus subscriber so let's see who it is thank you to gecko i believe you're already in it could be wrong i think actually i'm wrong there i think you are in uh i, I can't let's just check oh you are already in okay so p-man I was right, you are already in. We haven't got P-Man, so P-Man, uh, there we go. Let's just switch back to Transport Fever. You can see Gecko's up here in the middle of the pack. There's Gecko, and what we're doing now, we're just adding P-Man in down there. So congratulations, P-Man, your name is in the game. So uh, there we go, folks. If, if you want to support the channel, uh, you can do that through Viewer Plus. Uh, Viewer Plus, it's cheaper than most other ways to support and also there's no middleman so unlike other services like a youtube membership or patreon subscription or um a twitch sub this it, it just comes directly to me i pay i give paypal a small amount of money for um, safely taking your your money and doing the transaction securely and then you know we can do things that the server the server down there broke the other day and I was able to order a new hard drive for it like that so we could get things back up and running thank you to the viewer plus subscribers all 45 of you really keep things moving around here you do so there we go um Tom Evans says how does this game compare to open TTD different games or is it like a modern version uh yes to both it is a different game but it is also kind of like a modern version uh, I'm going to do a bit of a deep dive video on the differences between the two games and the similarities. But as a general rule, they're the same. Except the trains don't decide which way they go constantly. They You, you set a line. So you can see you've got all these colours here. These are all lines that you set up first. And the train on the on that line follows that route. Really, I would call them routes rather than lines, because you've got a piece of track which is called a line in most parts of the world. So there we go. Um, so that's the biggest difference. There are a lot of other subtle differences, but there's many similarities. You've got the four types of travel. You can lay your roads. You can lay your, your rail do trains, make routes, get cities to grow, link up industries, it compares quite nicely. It, I, 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 it comes with a solid recommendation for me. If you're looking for a modern alternative to open TTD, I think it is good. Uh, this is Transport Fever 2, by the way, not the first one. It is a little bit better. Uh, hi, Master Hellish. The NH rugby teams had a good weekend, yeah? No idea. Don't follow rugby. I have enjoyed playing rugby in the past when I was at school. That was a long time ago. Don't follow rugby. Tom Evans sounds interesting. Yes. Oh, sorry. I already read that message. Okay. So, what is the situation? The situation is, is that we are making a little bit of money, but we've got various services that aren't making money. In fact, the, the trains that we just converted, they're losing money, but not horrendous amounts. This Brad Goods service, there's something wrong with that. Why is that so terrible? Right. Brad Goods. That will be coming from here? 
Yeah, it's these trucks. Oh, these trucks are old and horrible. And it's probably also this junction here that's making everything go terrible. I don't want to get rid of this junction, but I feel like we might need to. Let's have a look at the, the routes down here. Yeah. Okay, so that yellow route goes right under there. I almost feel like they need a shortcut. Like they can come over here. Also, they come into the center of town for some reason. Is that where the goods get dropped off? Okay, uh, where's the uh, station cargo things? Okay, that is a good place for them to get dropped off. I'm not going to argue about that. Fair enough. Fair enough. Does this game have a co-op feature? Not that I know of. No. See, that's the thing, you see. It doesn't have any multiplayer that I know of. So there we go. Um, gro growth is prompted by most... I think... I'm not sure what it's prompted by. I, do, I think it has to do with the industries. Like, this town requires the various different things in order to... Like, you've got the supply and the demand for the destinations. So we are taking people places. Um, that gives the growth. Gro you're getting zero growth on reg residents, the supply of the good. Why are we not getting any goods in the town? So something's severely going wrong with this service or something. I mean, you're empty. You've got zero goods on you. Are we picking up any goods here? Or is it because all the goods are getting stolen for this journey? <gasps> oh. Oh, maybe that's the case. Surely we should be making a lot more goods there, right? Shipment zero? Hang on a minute. There we go, folks. We've moved this um, this this building so much so that the goods factory doesn't actually connect up to it anymore. That's a problem. That is a big problem. Let's put a support road in. Is it now connected? Yes! Okay, so I think that might be our entire issue there. We are making terrible money. Oh, where's it gone? Yeah, terrible money on that line because the station that we're using to pick stuff up at just doesn't have anything waiting. Because the production was at zero, because it wasn't connected. Uh, I do feel like we could do with a connection here, though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually bulldoze that piece of road and put a bridge over. Just because I think that will be awesome. So let's have... I mean, what country road do we get? What speed is that? It's 80. Yeah. Ooh, can we do that? I mean, that's that's terrible. That says too much slope. Can we bring it down? No. Too much slope. What about if we go under? Too much slope. Okay. I guess that's not good then, is it? Uh, what if we just move this junction a little bit? Yeah, let's do that. Probably shouldn't have moved quite so much. Um, so if we bulldoze that, bring that straight across there. Yes, the field will go then connect this up that will move it just enough I think bridge pillar coll collision there we go that's better bridge pillar collision 
There we go. We're going to have a, a nice bridge over. Ooh. I'm going to go with that one. So now, presumably, a load of vehicles are going to take that shortcut. Let's have a look at the lines. Yes. So that's fine. I'm happy with that. What's well, this junction could get busy, but looks like for the most part they're all going round the same direction. They're not crossing the streams over here. They're all spreading out there. I mean, really, I would like I would prefer them to use the other. Oh, they are doing. That's fine then. We'll have to keep an eye on that, but this should get better now. Now we've got our road vehicles using this shortcut. Much better. Oh wow, look at this town, uh, this building. I mean, it's been there, I think, for the entire live stream, but I haven't noticed it. That is a cool, tall building there. I like it. Hang on, why have we got... S Whoa! Air aircraft just went straight past us then. Why have we got so many bricks here? This doesn't seem right. We've got bricks going to two different places. Uh, they're getting full. I guess... Is it just we're not shifting them quick enough? We need a better brick bus? Let's have a look at the Brad Brick service. Where do we go? Oh, that's the light green one. Okay, so it goes to King Street and then goes back again. This could get a busy junction as well if we're not careful. Okay, well in that case, where's the vehicle gone? How many vehicles have we got on that line? 15. And it doesn't seem to be enough. But what we'll do is we'll get rid of 5. We'll sell them. And then we'll upgrade. Uh, upgrade? We'll upgrade them to... It's the bricks. We kept, which, are we doing bricks? We are doing bricks, aren't we? Eight million. See, that feels like it's expensive now. But there we go, we've done it. Hopefully that will improve the speed and everything else along there. And also they can carry a lot more, so... Yeah, getting rid of five, expend, ex extending the amount that's on there, that's all good. Okay, I think we've fixed a few problems there. We fixed. Where's our steam train? Oh, it's, it's, it's round the back here. Okay, our steam train's still in the negatives, look. If we look at the finances here, we look over a long distance. It used to make profit, but now, in recent years, it, I mean, that's probably when it was on the main line. So let's get, there we go. I mean, it's not too bad. Destinations via public transit adds growth, especially when attaching a small town to a big one. Okay, interesting. So if we look at Bradnich, it's got so many residents. We've got... Um, like, we've got so many different destinations there. Growth rate of the stuff there. That's the, the supply of the goods should kick in soon. Okay, so we should start seeing more and more goods moving out from here. Uh, looks like we've got... Actually, we're... Oh! Is that why the Lego service wasn't working very well? Because we wasn't delivering goods, it wasn't needing Lego. If it wasn't needing Lego, it wasn't producing it at the factory. If it's not producing it at the factory, it's not processing as much oil. And the Lego trains aren't shifting as much. Is that it? Was the demand just so rubbish? Let's have a look at the Lego finances. Yeah, look at that. So if we go back to about here, you can see that we was delivering a lot, 
and then it seems like we haven't been delivering recently or not delivering nowhere near as much I wonder if that's gonna make a big impact now then might help the money situation right speaking of money how much money would it cost to clone this train because it would be nice to have oh look it's made nine million must be pretty much top of the charts right yeah top of the charts doing better than the uh, doing better than the aeroplanes in fact that train has probably been the difference between us being in profit and not Ugh. and if we look at the balance here oh we've still got Brad good not doing great then again we've got 30 road vehicles doing Brad goods that's a lot of road vehicles a lot of little road vehicles as well isn't it but at least they're starting to pick up some goods now I want to upgrade them but we I don't think I have the money and also they pick up multiple things on their way around they pick up goods, they pick up, I think the the L brackets, the, the steel, they bring the steel over. Um, so we'd have to replace them with a vehicle that can carry all cargo. Yeah, there we go, look, 20 million. It costs 20 million, but at the same time, we wouldn't need 30 of them, would we? You'd go from being able to carry 14 things at once to carrying 25? Which is not quite double, but it's a lot. So I think, yeah, if we get rid of a load of these vehicles. So we get rid of 10. Get rid of 10 of them. Sell them. We don't really get much money for that because they're not worth anything. But then replace them with this one. We can just afford it. There we go. And that should be more cost efficient. Plus they look better. So if we look here, yeah, production's going up. Look, the level of production's going up as well. Oh, this has been a problem for a little while now. Bricks are coming flying in. We got a lot of bricks waiting here. We might just need more lorries. Maybe we should get some alternate um, loading bays for this. So if I go like like that, and then we do an out heat. No, that's an in. Cost? Oh, we got no. Mi oh, we've lost a lot of money here now. I think we'll be all right. I think the money will will come back in. Just so we can do some building, I will borrow a few more. We'll go back to a ten million loan, just to help with the cash flow. We'll configure this. So we'll have an out there, and I want an in here, but it's not going to... Oh, I can do an in there? Ooh, I haven't done it like that before. Okay. And then... Uh, let's see. Small country road. I suppose we could just do this, that, and that. And then we can change the one... Brad Brick. No, not Brad Brick. God Brick. Yes. So the God Brick line uh, we can do Terminal 1. Why won't it come in here? Strange. Um, I don't know what to do about that. I mean, we could try and put some waypoints in to see if we can coax it into doing what we want. Let's give that a go. Um, so, if we do after Upper Bradnich, go to this waypoint. No, it just makes it loop round. <laughs> okay, no. We'll leave that. We'll leave it as it is. For now. Just having two 
two separate um, loading depots. I don't want to destroy the whole thing. I just want to destroy that bit and that bit. There we go. Two different loading bays. That's the important thing right now. Right, how are we doing over here? Production has already got up to level one. We're increasing through to level two. That's much better. Money is doing fantastic now. Stuff is shifting. What's going on over here? Brad and cheap. What? What is that? Are we picking up coal? Brad cut. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's a bit of a queue forming. What's going on here? Just not getting shipped? Well, it's still connected. Have we just got too many trucks now? We've upgraded them. 15. Right, let's just sell five of them then. There we go. That's going to help, isn't it? Also... Let's get them to queue up a little bit better than this. Okay, so let's configure this. We'll do street access. We'll go in there. We'll add... Oh, we've got a new... Is that a new bendy bus? We'll add a new country road here... Can I have it on this junction? Can I come from this junction? Okay, and then we'll change the... Oh, it has... No, I think that'll be okay. I don't know. Let's have a look. Where's the waypoint? Oh, it's on the other end. Um... Oh, it's not going round. So we'll have to put another waypoint in. This is where we will use a waypoint. There we go. Manage vehicles. Manage the line. Before there, go to that waypoint. No, that's not right. Before you go here, go to this station. Remove that station. Where's the waypoint gone? What? Oh my goodness. Right. I have no idea what's happening. I'm redoing it. Go to this waypoint. Alright, go to there. So it won't, it'll, it won't let me do it in that order. Right, okay. So then it needs to come down and drop off here. Yeah, let's do it like that. I don't think we was actually going to Bradnich transfer. I think we were coming around here somewhere. And then using this waypoint to make sure they go back that way. But I kind of like using that one instead. We may even put a shortcut. Yeah, we're going to put a shortcut in for them. Okay, we don't need this waypoint anymore. So what we'll do is we will say, Hey, let's get a road street. A good one. And we'll go from here to there. And we'll do a little tunnel. Okay, we won't do a little tunnel. We'll do a little bridge. Like quite a modern one. Too much slope. Can it come down a bit? No, it can't. My goodness, how, how big does the bridge have to be to not have too much slope? That's ridiculous. Alright, let's not do it from there. Let's do it from here. Still too much slow. Come on, we've got to... 
Bridge pillar collect. Oh, yeah. Collision. There we go. Shortcut. Right? Hang on, why aren't they using the main lo main road? Well, they are using the shortcut now. Not quite sure why they're not using this main road. They could use the main road. Maybe trucks are not allowed or less likely to pick that main road. Or maybe they're more likely to pick this road because it's an own road. I'm not sure. Well, anyway, looks like we've got a deadlock. What on earth are you doing here, vehicles? There we go, I sold one. Is that going to fix it? Yay, it fixed it! Now I'm going to have to clone one. Just so that there's ten again. Okay, I think this is okay. I mean, it's waiting at the traffic lights, but the traffic's getting busier and busier. What year are we in now? 2008. Wow. I mean, these lorries won't be here in the future. They'll all come down the back like that one. They'll all load up nicely. Okay, that will be fixed. That's fine. That's looking okay. That's ramping up production again. Brilliant. Money on the lines is looking much better. Where's the... Where's the uh, Lego trains? Lego train. That's the, an uh, that's the main loop anti-clockwise. Logs? Okay, let's do it by line. Now can we find it better? There we go. Uh, Lego shuttle. Oh, it's still minus five million. Oh, it's at the very top. Still not doing too good, that one. Those lorries won't be there in the future thanks to the 2008 financial crisis. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's no good at all. What are you thinking after this series? Okay, uh, we've got a few things lined up. Tell you what. I actually had this on a, a notepad. Here we go. I was making some notes of some possible future plans. I'm going to post it in general on the Discord. But as a summary, uh, the return of OpenTTD Series 9 is going to be coming soon. The return of Kerbal Space Program Series 4 Let's Play for a few streams will be returning. Uh, later on, uh, we'll have the return of Gaming with a Viewer Plus subscribers. Uh, we're going to start a brand new series of fantastic free, free games live series. So we're going to be looking at some free games and playing them. Uh, and then before the end of the year, fingers crossed, we'll be actually launching the fantastic free games pro um, product. Project, not product, because I'm not selling it. Project. Uh, maybe in a few months, we might start a monthly tech and gaming podcast. Um, and then at the end of the year in December we'll have the festive charity live stream 2022 which may uh, consist of three open TTD games in three different climates with three different targets and three different twists could be the biggest open TTD event I ever do ever like there may never be a bigger one than this um, and then in January 2023, we'll be starting Open TTD Let's Play Series 10. Uh, if you want to have a quick look at that, I have put it in the general channel on the Discord. If you've got any feedback or ideas based on that, check it out and then pop stuff in the ideas channel. So, uh, let's have a look here. What we've got here? <laughs> Fair, yep. <laughs> You're all over that event. Oh, it's going to be a good event, I reckon. That's just the ideas so far. We, I want to just make it absolutely... Oh, look! Look, we've got lots of oil here now, apparently. 
44 loads of it. Looks like the Lego might be building up as well. I'm, I'm not sure if it's too early to say yet, but this Lego shuttle might be starting to fix itself. Have we got a new ship that we can actually replace this one with? Because it is absolutely terrible. The problem is, is that we need one that carries all cargo types. So it needs to be able to carry oil and Lego. So that one can carry the Lego. That one can carry the Lego. That one can carry the oil. That one can carry the oil. That one can carry the Lego. That one can carry the Lego. That one can carry the oil. So currently, the only ship that we can use is the one that we're using because none of the other ones are available anymore. I cannot replace Boaty McBoatface. I, I could upgrade uh, Boaty McBoatface wherever Boaty is. Ship 1. Ship 6. Oh, there. There he is. There's Boaty McBoatface. Uh, what else? What else can we do? I think everything is running nice and smoothly. I mean, logging around. To, we've got way too many logs here that need to be shifted. Uh, we could probably fix that. Yeah, that one's stuffed by improving the vehicles. Wow, we've got 40 vehicles on that loop. Uh, that one is stuffed full of logs. And transport's at 98% though, so we're not doing too bad. The other log camp is also at 98%. So I reckon we could get rid of some of the vehicles if we upgraded them. Like, instead of 40, we could probably have... Like, 30? Not sure why, but the, the screen seems to be jumping. So, like... If I replaced it with this one, it cost 26 million. We haven't got that sort of cash. In fact, we haven't even got the cash that we've, we've, we said we've got. We need to repay the loan. There we go. At least I've repaid the loan now. Uh, but yeah, we, we certainly need to upgrade the trucks around there. What we got going on here? Yeah, that's all okay. Oh, we upgraded the uh, number of trains here, didn't we? How are these two trains doing? They're actually making some money, actually. Okay, that one isn't right now, but I think it's on its way back. Or is it... No, no, it's just on its way to actually deposit. Yeah, it's on its... Look at that. Look at that road there. I wouldn't like to drive down that. You're driving along and up along a relatively relatively flat road and then all of a sudden you dive down there. How many is on this train now? 33 still. These stations aren't getting much busier, are they? These tram routes not helping. Ooh, there's a new ferry. What do we think? Should we replace the hovercraft with the ferry? I mean, these these are actually making some decent money. I mean, we're not always hitting loads of passengers, but we're always making more money than we, than it's costing, even over like nearly every single bit of their lifespan. It's been it's been good. Um, okay. Most things are alright. Hovercraft did die out about this time. I mean, we are in 2009 now. Let's have a look. Okay, so we've only got... We've only got one place which is coming up as an overload of goods. That's King Street down here. Is this where we upgraded... Yeah, we upgraded the buses and I took some away and I was like, Oh, it'd be fine, won't it? Do you think we ought to change it to a tram service? Or do you think I should just put another bus in? 
At the minute, I think I just add one more bus. There we go. One more bus added. I don't know where the bus is coming from. No idea where the depot is. Where is the depot? Is there a depot? Oh wait, there it is. Hidden in the centre of town. Amongst flats. I mean, this didn't used to be the centre of town with large, loads of large buildings. But it is now. Well, how's this town getting along? Because this one's the one with the direct train connection. Look, we've got all these big buildings around this station. But, oh no, hang on. A couple of large buildings are coming around this station as well. Town's starting to grow a little bit. Where's the hydrofoils? Yeah. Gecko said, uh, I had a go of a hovercraft the other weekend. Um, it had handlebars for steering, but the control of where it goes is just an illusion. You have no way of making it go there. Huh? You have no way of making it go there where you want. I mean, I, I've piloted a hovercraft before as well, and I would say that that's not entirely true. Um, it, you just have to think about it completely differently. It's almost like being in space, because you can be travelling one way and then apply your thrust in another, and then the resulting movement is a vector of the previous movement and the new thrust. It's like... You've constantly got a vector of movement, and all you're doing is adding a force to it in a direction, which may reduce that vector, or change the vector, or, in or increase it. But yes, we've got buses. We just we just saw buses, actually. There are buses down here. Uh, they've got the ferry from the harbour, the railway line with no trains on it, and we've got a really busy bus station down here with the bull loop. Like driving on ice, yes. Um, will Transport Fever 1 run on my 2015 Intel Core? I mean, that is a... That is not a question I answer yet. Like, most computers, especially... are so different to each other definitely check the specs on on steam um but also i i would definitely try and get transport fever 2 if if you can run it now uh again don't quote me on it but steam have a refund policy if uh, i think you've got a certain amount of time since you bought the game and as long as you haven't played the game for a certain amount of time you can very often refund them but definitely check their policy on that. Don't don't take it all from me. Okay, let's have a look at the uh, station statistics. Okay, every single station is now showing as very good. I say that's a check mark against that. Uh, the condition of all the vehicles. There's a couple of very bad ones. Bitrich is always going to be very bad. There's a Nudger and Mike Gamer. There's a couple of bad ones down there, but for the most part, most of our vehicles are good. Uh, what's this? The emissions for the towns. We've got a few emissions being very poor. Town growth. Here we go. I, know, I haven't looked at this before. I haven't. I don't know why I haven't looked at this before. So, we've got a town over here that we haven't interacted with at all in any way whatsoever and apparently its town growth is 20 percent and then on the other end of the scale you've got bradnich here where we've had railway services to nearby towns we've had tram services and bus services through the towns and we've had um both of the supply delivering for uh, goods and bricks, whatever it's called. Um, ah, okay. Here's something, right? Uh, apparently, emissions, I was told on multiple occasions, doesn't really affect anything. 
one thing it does affect is your town, town growth rate. So if you've got poor emissions, it's a negative effect on your town. So you've got um, you've got stations, traffic, and emissions, and the emissions is having a negative effect there. Is cities in motion similar to transport fever? I've not played cities in motion, so I'm unable to draw that conclusion. Why are there no double decker buses? Uh, I think there used to be. We did have double decker buses at one point, I think. It's just this is now 2009 in game. So you don't get as many double decker buses, especially not new ones. I don't know if it's even possible to buy one. Where's the depot? There's the depot. Let's have a look at the passenger buses. No. So I, I'm pretty sure there were double decker buses. Yeah, there were. There were. But there aren't any more. They're all bendy buses and super buses and, you know, the Volvo and Maz and all that. BK670. Where's our train? Oh, we're going to get a crossover here. I think we. we no, we're not. Are we? We're going to get a bit of a crossover here. I don't know if we're going to see it from Bitrich's standpoint. Yeah, the back end of the train there just went across in front of the line. Oh. Oh, uh, never mind. Maybe we'll see a better crossover before the end of the series. Maybe we won't. Um... Name a building after me. Uh, what we do around here is we name um, trains after the Viewer Plus subscribers. Viewer Plus subscribers are people that help me out by subscribing to the Viewer Plus program on my website. So if you want to know more about that, head to masterhellish.net, the website there, and you can find out more about it. That's how that's how we keep the things going around here with replacement hardware, software, buying new games, and all sorts of things. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of like a Twitch sub, but there's no middle party taking a cut of your money. That's what we do around here with that. And then those people, some of, one of the perks is to get their name in the game. And we've got uh, 20 viewer plus subscribers now. We've got three trains left. But I'm not I'm not going to go around and name everything. That, that just seems like an exercise for the reader, so almost. Um, I do intend to make this game available. So... You're, you're subscribed, Talk Show T. Are you subscribed or are you Viewer Plus subscribed? Um, that destination percentage per town is is per town connected. What? Hang on a second. Destination percentage. Okay. Public transport, private transport percentages. I, I don't think it is because you add those together and to me it looks like 290. Ish. Is that right? 180, 160, 260, plus those bits, minus... Yes. That's right. With destinations, you can see the line usages there. Wow. Wow. Some some of them are 100% line usage, others zero. <laughs> Interesting, fantastic. How are we doing here with transporting the uh, the goods? Looks like we're keeping on top of that. Fantastic. Are we keeping on top of the bricks now? We are. Brilliant. You never type in chat. Talk show T. Let's have a look. Go to the website, masterhellish.net. On the homepage, there's a list of your plus subscribers. If we go through the list, Nudger, Brandon, Disneyland, Sixer, Mike Gamer, P Man, The Intolerable Tomato, X uh, Zero, Ron J, Brent, Anvil, Jimster Gaming, Poke Dex, Andy, uh, Goody Two Shoes, Gravity Six, Moon Mint, uh, uh, Take Me, a Pineapple, Party Piggy. I mean, Gabe, Mr. For Christopher, Gamer Clark, Quack, Beanie Nixon, Gabe, Lord Alec, Ogrens, Foxtren, Esme, JP, uh, DJ Egg, Matt Strack, Gecko, Icy Bear, uh, is that Say, uh, Saganhaf, sorry, I'm, I'm rushing these, Jackamack, uh, Four Keys, 
um, Jack Geld, Elaine, ALM, Zoe, uh, Zoe, Rogue, Azrael, DJ Empirical, Adam Crillo, Network 17. So, they, they're the viewer plus subscribers, as per listed on my website. They get, that list gets updated automatically every minute of every day. Uh, I'm not I'm not there updating that I wrote a script to do that for me that's what my day job is I'm a I'm a developer and if I need something to do that sort of thing I make it because why not okay uh, what we've got here we've got a, tr a large amount of road vehicles they are old v road vehicles we do have a half decent amount of money I'm wondering if changing these road vehicles would be a good idea where's the train there's the train is that train making money eh, it looks like it is oh it's 10% per town oh so it's already added up aggro is it it's already added. so what you're saying is we've got uh, we see we've got 12 towns connected have we uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9, 10, 11. Could have miscounted. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Maybe it's only just updated or something, but that looks like it could be right. Maybe you get one free? I don't know. Uh, do you develop anything in particular? Uh, yes, I do. I work for a company. Uh, that company has a product, and I help develop that product. Um, in my own time, I do scripts and things to help out with stuff. Our Minecraft server uh, automatically adds people from the website who subscribe to Vio Plus to the whitelist of Minecraft server, and that is a C Sharp program which I made, and that updates uh, every five minutes on the server. It looks at the website, goes, "Oh, these are the list of people who are subscribed at the moment. Here's their Minecraft usernames," and then it updates the whitelist and refreshes it if necessary. Um there we go. So Bitrich is actually making money apparently at the Oh my Bitrich is full. Wow. That's fantastic. The first ten is local. Ah, so if you've got connections within the city aggro, that makes sense. Oh, we'll we'll just got to watch Bitrich go onto this. I love this bit. This isn't. This is a well positioned bridge here. It was completely unnecessary for me to put that bridge in. Um, I could have just put a level crossing in, but never mind. Um, yeah, let's have a look at the finances here. Okay, so Bitrich has made money one, two, two times out of the last five years or so. That's not terrible. Tourists like the scenic route, says Elaine. I mean, you've basically got two options, right? If you're at Badnich, you either take the scenic route. Oh, where's the, le the thing is? Here we go. Can I disconnect that? No. Okay, never mind. I'd like to move the line. I'd like to be able to. Can I not have this view without the line manager up? Cargo layer. Street traffic, emissions. Nah, I don't think so. Doesn't look like it. But um, I'd love to have this view without having to have the line manager open. Um. Anyway, yes, so you can either go from Bradnich down this loop line that goes round the lake to God Manchester, then take the loop line either to Midwich or up through to Ch um, Chertsney, and you can get that way, or you can go down the line to the airport and get a direct flight over to Bushy, or, or you can go from Bradnich, take the train all the way down to Pickering, then get the tram to the other station, Pickering Holt, and that Pickering Holt will then take you all the way down to Bromyard and Winslow. 
I think if I lived in Pickering, uh, in Bradnich, and I wanted to get to, let's just say, this place over here, Barnes, and I was going to take the ferry, I would probably, if money wasn't an, uh, a question, if money wasn't a question, I would take the scenic route to God Manchester, and the, then keep on that train from God Manchester all the way around to Burwell. I'd probably do that. Because any other option is going to be much less indirect. Me, uh, me message book. I've tried programming a couple of times, but I'm not too good. I mean, I would say that anybody can do basic programming. Like simple, not the programming language basic. Simple programming, like I'm sure anybody could learn to do it. With, you know, a bit of teaching, no problem. But doing more advanced stuff and doing more complex stuff and being good at it, I think it takes a certain kind of person with a certain set of skills. And luckily for me, some of the things that I'm good at is a good match for it and I enjoy it, which is nice. Right, are we getting an overload here? Let's have a look. Anything overloaded? Ooh. Apparently... Whatever that is, is a little bit overloaded. Or was. Yes, it is a bit overloaded. Um, I mean, we could add a bit of flexibility into these um, stops by just adding... Um, buildings. Um, oh no, it's in the configuration, isn't it? So we can add cargo buildings like over here if we add one car cargo building there and then we can come and configure this one and add a cargo building then th I, this doesn't count as overloaded anymore because that building can now cope with it there you are it just says very good Brandon says I can code in HTML that's a start you know, and presumably you use CSS with that. And then probably the next step that you could look at is maybe writing small PHP scripts to generate HTML. Maybe interacting with a database. There's always ways that you can you can push it and try it. Well folks. I think that is a relatively good place to leave it. We've got a lot of stuff that needs shifting here. We have. We've got a lot of stuff. Um, I am going to attempt to make this game save available. So it is 2010 right now. If you want to get this game save and carry on playing, maybe come over to the Discord and post some pictures. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the series. I re I've loved it. Jack Max says amazing series. I've yeah, I've loved this. Um, I've done Transport Fever twice before, so if you want to check that out, Transport Fever season one and season two. That's Transport Fever one. Uh, I enjoyed them. They were good, but I feel like this one was better. I I do. Apparently, oh, we started this series back in December last year. Wow. That it's been a it's been a while to do, get through these twenty. I've I've had a couple of little breaks. I've been ill a couple of times, um, but it's been good. It's been good. I I'm really impressed with what we've done. And there's a good variety here. Like we haven't just done some train lines, and we haven't just done passengers. We've got passengers and freight and road vehicles and connected via these boaty things, hovercrafts, whatever they are called. Um, we've gone through, we haven't just done practical stuff, we've done scenic things as well, and I think adding this scenic line to the railway here was an uh, absolutely fantastic thing to do. Is it all perfect? No. But has it been fun? Yes. Has it been successful? Well, yes. We've, we're, we've got a business which makes money. I mean, if you look at the charts here, you can see that the value did drop a little bit recently i think i don't know what that was maybe it's when we started switching all the trains around but and we did 
do a lot of selling and stuff but overall look the amount of tracks that we build um, and the town growth population and jobs that's all going on quite good as well we got a score of 39 no idea what that is um, we've got no debt we've got about 400 millions worth in vehicles uh, we've got um, profit for the last 12 months oh that's what that figure is down there where it says earnings profit for the last 12 months I did not know that there we go we got a 341 road vehicles including six air oh no that's just the road vehicles then we've got trams trains ships and aircraft see we only had six aircraft gecko says i've enjoyed this from the start i i've enjoyed it too i mean what do you guys think of me doing a second series of this we did two series of transport fever one maybe we could do two series of transport fever two it, it could be on the books let me know if you're not watching this live and you're watching this video afterwards on youtube hit that like button the more likes this video gets the more likely i am to consider doing more um uh, message me box says it was a good a good series maybe maybe but it's nice to switch things up that's true i wouldn't do it just the same as this so um we started this one in a european climate i think it was um do you have a list of your past live series i mean on my website if you go to masterhellish.net you should have a list of all my series on the website let me just check so if you go to the website masterhellish.net at the top there's this playlist option and on here it should give you every series that i've ever done on my gaming channel now i I'm going to add other things from my other channels on here, I think, in the future. But there's, like, channel stuff like Hellish News, Chilling and Chat, Gaming with a Viewer Plus subscribers, and charity videos. We've got quite a few series of Open TTD in there. Quite a few series of Minecraft, Kerbal Space Program, RimWorld. We've got a simulation section on here. Um, and then Fast and Lights. Uh, we've got MMOs and Survival. So we've got DayZ, Path of Exile. Project Zomboid, Follow Who Vegas and Boulders Gates on there as well. Um, where is uh, Trans? Yeah, there's Transport Fever Series Two complete. There is Transport Fever Series One complete. So those ones are on there. What was before KSP Live? I can't remember. Maybe nothing. So we had K Curve Space Program Series One, Two, and Three. They were uh, ser series 1 and 2 were videos Series 3 and 4 were lives um, Elaine says I think you're missing ARK on survival No, because ARK um, Comes under gaming with the viewer plus subscribers Elaine, it's not a separate series By itself, it come, it's um, Part of the game with, gaming with The subs, um, but basically If you want to go and If you want a good place to look at the different series i've done this is the best place to do it youtube doesn't really lay it out like this in a very good way in my opinion i i feel like this is a good way of doing it um there may be some very recent stuff that isn't on here uh but they should be added soon and i might add stuff from my other channels as well we'll see Oh, you mean KSP Live in the schedule, the regular Tuesday stream slot? What? Hang on a minute. Oh, what was before KSP in the stream slots? Ah, now, I could probably work that out quite easily for you because if I go to my YouTube channel um, on my side, on the Creator Studio, um, it gives me a list of all my videos and then I can click the Live button. It gives a list of all my live videos and then I can scroll down that list and I can see the what series we've done. So I can see Skyrim, Transport Fever. If I keep scrolling backwards, uh, I can see that we did Open TTD Series 9, which will be coming back sometime soon. We had the Project Zomboid server launch. I did Rail Route Specials. Um, and then if we go back a little bit more, we're still seeing the tail end of Series 9 of that. Oh my goodness, we need to go a little bit further. So I had a few Minecraft Let's Plays. We did some gaming with the VO Plus subscribers. 
And we're, we did chilling chats, Minecraft Live, RimWorld. I think it might have been RimWorld. If I go back far enough, I should find Kerbal Space. Oh, there's Kerbal Space Program. So the end of Kerbal Space Program, the last stream that I can find was... Can't find it. I had it here on the screen a moment ago. But yeah, that's what we've done recently. It might have been RimWorld. Might have been Minecraft, might have been RimWorld. But it's, it's all been good. If anybody's got any ideas about different games they want me to see pl and or play or any of that sort of stuff, Ideas channel on the Discord is the best place to let me know about that. That's all good. I want to see that. I've got lots of ideas myself. Uh, we've got lots of fantastic free games to look at too. And uh, more gaming with the viewer plus subscribers. So all good all round, I think. <sighs> it's been a good series. You guys have helped me out a lot as well. Um, I, I couldn't be more pleased with um, with how well I mean yeah if we were rolling in cash where we could just spend what we wanted whenever we wanted that you might say that would have been more successful and better in some ways but I'm I'm not sure uh, I'm not sure it would have been necessarily said it was better now folks remember there is no live stream this thursday but watch out my youtube channel because i'm pretty sure we'll be coming out with an open ttd video and then there should be one on saturday as well so keep an eye out for that remember uh follow one of my social media channels or make sure you've got the notifications turned on for the announcements channel on my discord to keep up with everything i'll see you all soon as always you've all been fantastic Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much to my super viewers, my viewer plus subscribers, and my moderators. This has been a cool series. I hope you've enjoyed it half as much as I have because it's been great to do for you. And I'll see you all very soon. Take care, everybody. Goodbye.